In this video, we are going to prove the odd and even trig identities. What does it mean for a function to be odd? And what does it mean for a function to be even? Recall the definition from pre-calculus algebra. A function f is odd if, so we have odd if f of negative theta is equal to negative f of theta. And a function is even if, even if f of negative theta is equal to f of theta. Let us look at the six trigonometric functions beginning with a circle. Given a circle with radius r, let theta be an arbitrary angle. You can draw theta anywhere you like, but for convenience, I will draw the angle in quadrant one without loss of generality. Since I draw theta in quadrant one, then I simply draw negative theta in quadrant four. It is important to note that theta and negative theta have the same magnitude. The only difference is that negative theta is measured in the opposite direction of theta from the positive x-axis. Let theta have terminal points x comma y, then negative theta will have terminal points x negative y. Let us prove that sine is an odd function using the circle and the definition of an odd function. We know that sine of theta is equal to y over r. So we know that sine of negative theta is equal to negative y over r. Now I'm going to rewrite negative y over r as negative parentheses y over r. Now look inside of the parentheses. y over r is equal to sine of theta. So this is equal to negative parentheses sine of theta. Now I'm just going to remove the parentheses. So this is equal to negative sine of theta. So we see that sine of negative theta is equal to negative sine of theta, which means that by definition, sine is an odd function. So this means that we have an odd function. Now let us prove that cosine is an even function. We know that cosine of theta is equal to x over r. So this is equal to x over r. And we know that cosine of negative theta is equal to x over r. But x over r is equal to cosine of theta. So we have cosine of theta. So we see that cosine of negative theta is equal to cosine of theta. And by definition, cosine is an even function. Now let us prove that tangent is an odd function. We know that tangent of theta is equal to sine of theta over cosine of theta by the quotient identity. So tangent of negative theta is equal to sine 
of negative theta over cosine of negative theta. But sine of negative theta is equal to negative sine of theta. So we have that this is equal to negative sine of theta. And we know that cosine of negative theta is equal to cosine of theta. So we have cosine of theta. But negative sine of theta over cosine of theta is just equal to negative tangent of theta. So we see that tangent of negative theta is equal to negative tangent of theta, which means we have an odd function by definition. Now let us prove that cotangent is an odd function. We know that cotangent of theta is equal to cosine of theta over sine of theta. So cotangent of negative theta is equal to cosine of negative theta over sine of negative theta. But cosine of negative theta is just cosine of theta because cosine is an even function. So we have cosine of theta. And sine of negative theta is negative sine of theta because sine is an odd function. So we have negative sine of theta. But negative cosine of theta over sine of theta is just equal to negative cotangent of theta. Thus, cotangent of negative theta is equal to negative cotangent of theta, which means we have an odd function. Now let us prove that cosecant is an odd function. We know that CSC of theta is equal to 1 over sine of theta. So, CSC of negative theta is equal to 1 over sine of negative theta, but that's just equal to 1 over negative sine of theta, which is equal to negative CSC of theta, because 1 over sine of theta is equal to cosecant of theta by the reciprocal identity. So we have CSC of negative theta is equal to negative CSC of theta, which means we have an odd function. Last, we prove that secant is an even function. We know by the reciprocal identity that secant of theta is equal to 1 over cosine of theta. So secant of negative theta is equal to 1 over cosine of negative theta. And since cosine is an even function, we can disregard the negative sign within the function. So we have that this is equal to 1 over cosine of theta. But 1 over cosine of theta is equal to secant of theta by the reciprocal identity. So we have that this is equal to secant of theta. So secant of negative theta is equal to secant of theta, which means that secant is an even function. And that is how you prove the odd and even trig identities. Thank you for watching and always remember that you are awesome.